Well, holy smokers, folks, you gotta be flipping my flapjacks. What in the world? So I wake up this morning, I go on my favorite app, The Hungry Bull, and I'm trying to see what's going on in the market, you know, what's going on with my stocks. It's a Monday here. Looking, Dow's having a good day. NASDAQ's having a really good day. SP 500's having a good day. Russell's having an okay day, up 0.43%. So I'm like, you know, I should be green today. It should be a decent day for me out there here today. Nothing crazy, though, because a lot of the stocks I have been buying in the past few months are Russell stocks, smaller caps in general. So I'm like, ah, it's probably not going to be too crazy here today, okay? I checked Corsair Gaming. Corsair is up 1.64%. I'm like, okay, solid day for Corsair. Check Palantir. Palantir is up 3%. I'm like, oh, this is decent. Oh, my, what in the, what, chef? The chef, what the heck? Up 8% out of nowhere? I did not expect this. What in the chef is going on here? Oh my goodness, look at this one taking off, guys. We got to talk about the chef in this video, okay? What's going on here? How do I view this whole situation here today? Like, just out of nowhere, up 8%? What in the world? You got to be flipping my flapjacks, okay? So, um, a couple things I saw out there. And I don't know if either of these are behind this move in the chef here today. Uh, they could not be at all. This could just be a freak move in this stock. You know, I don't know. But I saw this. This was, uh, you know, from the fly. Largest borrow rate increases among liquid names. Latest data shows the largest indicative borrow rates increases among liquid option names include, and it names off a few stocks, including Tattooed Chef here, okay? Now, I do not know, once again, if this has anything to do with the Chef's move here today, but I do know Chef was kind of tied in this situation, and it's absolutely a crazy move there, Okay. Also saw this over the weekend, how much a Tattooed Chef is owned by insiders. If you want to know who really controls Tattooed Chef, then you better know Jeremy Lefebvre. Oh, excuse me. Uh, then you'll have to look at the makeup of its share registry. Large companies usually have institutions as shareholders, and we usually see insiders owning shares in smaller companies. I quite like to see at least a little bit of insider ownership. As Charlie Munger said, quote, show me the incentive and I will show you the outcome. Powerful words from a wise Charlie Munger there. Tattoo Chef is not owned by hedge funds. Looking at our data, we can see that the largest shareholder is the CEO, Salvatore Galletti, Sam Galletti, with 39% of shares outstanding. Meanwhile, the second and third largest shareholders hold 3.9% and 3.7% of the shares outstanding, respectively. Our research also brought to light the fact that roughly 50% of the company is controlled by the top four shareholders, suggesting that these owners we wield significant influence on the business. Absolutely, okay. Absolutely. That's the way it is. And I feel very comfortable in that sort of situation. And honestly, even a lot of the bigger companies, I think a lot of people think some of these big techs nowadays and things like that. Uh, they can control those companies. Even those companies are almost uncontrollable because the way they're starting to structure a lot of the big tech companies now is where essentially, even if let's say a Zuckerberg or somebody like that might have 20% of the shares, the thing that they do now is they basically make it so the voting shares are all their shares. And so the rest of the shareholders vote, it's don't really matter. And they still hold the majority, even though they don't hold the majority of shares. So there's different ways, you know, different companies structure things nowadays. And I think it's very important to keep that in mind. Our information suggests that insiders maintain a significant holding at Tattooed Chef. Insiders own $589 million worth of shares of the $1.3 billion company. That's quite meaningful. Most would be pleased to see that the board is investing alongside them. The general public holds a 29% stake in Tattooed Chef. While this group can't necessarily call the shots, it certainly has a real influence on how the company is run. Our data indicates that private companies hold 4.5% of the company's shares. Private companies can be related parties. Sometimes insiders have an interest in a public company through a holding in a private company rather than their own capacity as an individual. While it's hard to draw any broad stroke conclusions, it's worth noting for another area of further research. And so, you know, you got to understand with a stock like Tattoo Chef, you know, 
this isn't even like a big Wall Street. This isn't a big. This isn't a Wall Street stock at all right now. Okay, uh, over the next several years, I believe it will turn into a Wall Street start uh, a stock. I believe the hedge funds will jump in. I believe Wall Street money is going to come flooding into the stock. But it's not like that today. And at the end of the day, even when the Wall Street money comes flooding in the stock over the next few years, uh, Sam Galetti and the and the, the you know the big dogs they are still going to have by far and away the, the biggest ownership stake. That doesn't change. It's just you know at the end of the day, like the big dogs going to run in, and that's what's ultimately going to have a huge uh, move in in the stock price. In my personal opinion, there. Okay, if I'm, the company fundamentals would be the company fundamentals, and they'll be beautiful in my opinion. But what will really get the stock price up in a massive way will be the big Wall Street money coming in the stock over the next several years. Okay. Look at this. I mean, my gosh, this is the, this, the account I have the biggest position in Tattoo Chef. This particular account, I have 50,499 shares of Tattoo Chef. $76,000 upward move here today. Absolutely massive gargantuan move. Now, okay. So the question and the next question is going to be, well, is this just a one day dealio? Um, is this going to all go away tomorrow? And the stock's down 9%. And it's like, oh, that was a fun one day. And then it's back down 8 9%, whatever. I mean, you know, still about an hour and a half of in the trading day left. So we'll see kind of what happens there. You know, so my personal opinion on this is, first off, who could have seen this move up here today where the stock is up 8 9% here today? Like truly, who could have saw this move? Uh, I surely didn't see this move happening today, right? I love this stock for the long term, but as far as like predicting whether the stock would go up or down, you know, eight, nine percent. No, I mean, I would definitely tell you if I had to guess, um, the odds are definitely in the favor of Tattoo Chef going up eight percent versus down eight percent. But in terms of the volume coming in the stock like a beast today, no, I could never have predicted this. No one could have predicted this would happen today. I mean, look at the volume on the, the shares today. 2.4 million shares have traded, and we still got over an hour and a half left in the trading day, when usual volume is 1.6 million. Okay, so this is a this is obviously, and in, in right from the jump, even if you look at kind of the beginning of the day here today, I mean, right off the bat, it started in the 17s, and then from there, it just went up, and next thing you know, it was in the 18s, right? So, you know, these sorts of moves, no one can predict this. Whether the stock's down, up 7, 8, 9% tomorrow, I have no clue. And I don't think anybody has any clue about that. Uh, we will say that, okay? But at the end of the day, like, you know, focus on the long term. That could be the biggest thing I could tell folks. Focus on the long term. You know, if this stock's up, let's say another 7, 8, 9% tomorrow, I'm not going to sell the stock. I'm not popping champagne bottles. It, it is what it is. I think the stock's going to be an incredible beast over the next five years. So whatever happens tomorrow doesn't matter. I'm not going to, if the stock's down 8% tomorrow, I'm not going to cry myself to sleep. Oh, the shop, I went down 8% today. Like it is what it is, guys. You got to focus on the long term in these things. You got to know how to value companies. Take advantage of great deals in the market and uh make some dang money and then that's how it's done folks so anyways hope you enjoyed this as always if you want to download literally everything i possibly know about picking stocks making money from stocks running portfolios things like that as well as reading financial statements all those sorts of things check out the pinned comment down there you don't want to play this game with a blindfold on take that blindfold off you got to know what you're doing out there much love as always guys and have a great day